The Bureau of Land Management's lies and manipulation were on full display at the recent roundup of the West Douglas herd of wild horses in Colorado. The BLM zeroed out that wild horse herd management area, meaning that all 122 horses living there were rounded up. The BLM justified this operation by saying that the land was unsuitable for horses, and yet the BLM is allowing eight times more cattle than horses to graze on that same area. And as the BLM knows well, Land that is suitable for cattle is by definition suitable for horses. The reverse is not always true. Land that is suitable for horses may not be suitable for cattle. That's why horses thrive and do so well out on western public rangelands, while cattle do not without intensive management. The cost of this operation to zero out that herd, remove all 122 horses, was just under $200,000. And the BLM will recoup only $15,500 in grazing receipts because it still only charges these entitled uh, ranchers and livestock companies just $1.35 per animal unit month to graze their livestock on our public lands. These ranchers and livestock companies would not be able to, th to survive without the backing of the American taxpayers. And yet, will the BLM listen to the taxpayers who by the thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions even, uh, have stated that they want wild horses and burros left alone on our western public lands, not cattle and sheep? No, they're going to take care of just that tiny sliver of the uh, livestock producing population of the United States. Remember, less than 2% of the U.S. beef supply comes from western public lands. If you eliminated all commercial livestock grazing from our western public lands, it would have no effect whatsoever on the beef supply or beef prices. Uh, it is an industry that only exists because it is done on the backs of the American taxpayers. So we need Congress to pay attention and we need the news media to do a better job. Now, I am grateful 